Hey guys, it's me Kimberly. Let me show you how we go from drab to fab. I truly believe you should live in rooms you love. Watch our videos and we'll show you how we take our projects to the next level. Okay, so let's talk about the befores. This is a blank slate, my absolute favorite. I can do whatever I need to do. This is my sister's place and I have to keep in mind that she's uber conservative. This is a media room and the media room is located upstairs in this new home of hers. So this is where the boys, her husband and her two sons will all hang out every night to watch TV. So we did a great big huge sectional. The piece on the left has the recliner which is absolutely amazing because then you're watching TV that's the best seat in the house. It is made of leather, top grain, Italian and easy, super easy to clean. And there's one swivel chair in the corner for conversation but also that person can swivel and watch TV at the same time. I absolutely believe in swivel chairs. Great big huge square coffee table 50 by 50 for that space and an end table beside the sofa, a little bronze end table, and then a little martini table beside the swivel chair so that person doesn't have to get up. We need a great big huge media unit to ground that space. It is 108 inches. It is definitely not for everybody, but it was the perfect piece for this room. So for the colors for this space, we're gonna start with super neutral everything, super neutral rug. And this is the exact same rug I've put in every single room in her house. It's polypropylene, it's the exact same design, it is in the Destructible. It is affordable and I feel really good about this grounding that space. The coffee table is bronze with a taupey marble going through. The sofa is taupey and the chair is fabric and taupey as well. And we're going to punch this up a notch by adding a ton of gorgeous contrasting accessories. Let's talk about accessories. On the coffee table, there is a bowl with some greenery inside. It is a bronze bowl. You see we're picking up on the handles of the media unit and the sides of the coffee table. So bronze is gonna be one of our finishes. It also is duplicated in our chandelier. And on our console behind the sofa, we have a lamp, which is duplicated beside on the other side. And it is bronze with a nice creamy shade. And then on the right-hand side of that console, there is a vase that has cutouts in it with some greenery, little Tip. If you're doing a vase that's cut out, it's super hard to put things inside that you can see the stem. This stem was brown, so brown was sort of the same color as the bronze, and it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. For the accessories, that's absolutely it, other than the pillows. So we added some black here, and my sister makes fun of me saying that I add black to every project. I just am really feeling black is elegant, and I loved it in her house, so just a little bit of black. And then we did some taupey colored pillows to coordinate with it on the sofa, and then and two big pieces of art flanking either side of that sofa and if you notice the sofa covers part of that art and that was intentional because as you walk up the stairs you can see through the pickets and you see the whole piece of art then to the left of the TV there's one more wall that adjacent wall is gonna have two object art black overlapping each other I absolutely love object art I think it's the way to go I try to integrate it as much as possible If you like what you see in these videos, please like, comment, and follow, and let me know what you'd like to see next time. If you have a space that you would like to get done, don't forget to sign up for our free design program.